Hi, this is Dorothy Smith, and I have my video running at 300%. So I am going to, it took, a, I think it took me probably about an hour and 45 minutes to do this entire book. It's a six by eight album that contains 18 pages. So considering how many pages, uh, not too bad for an hour and hour and 45 minutes, hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes. So I'm just showing you the contents of this kit. This is available in March and April uh, for this uh, the spring catalog. And uh, you've got stickers here. They're marked as to which layout they go with, layout one, layout two, etc. Those are the background pages. Um, that's a die cut, and there are several die cut pages that are also designated, or two die cut pages. And those are the backgrounds for the mats for pictures, and they are designated which layout they go to. So my favorite way, although it takes a few minutes, is to cut all the pieces apart that belong to each layout. And I'm going to use the 6x8 album page protectors uh, as my means of organizing. So I'm just picking out the background pages that go with those particular die cuts. And since everything is marked, it's no problem. So I am just uh, trying to put everything in order. So with a project that has this many pieces, you really want to uh, try to keep everything as organized and uh, apart from each other as possible just to, you know, keep the frustration level lower and uh, to be able to find things easily. I always find if you can find things easily, then, you know, you got it. It's not, it's not near as, as um, confusing. So this is actually what I didn't realize is that this kit is so organized that all those background pages were actually in order. And I threw one off and put it behind, and so it became out of order. So uh, Close to My Heart is trying to help us as much as we can, as long as we don't <laughs> hinder ourselves and get in our own way. So all of these, look at all these little cute little um, die cuts with the frames for pictures and little flowers. Now those there's some black and white flowers there. <clears throat> Excuse me, you could totally color those with markers or your watercolor pencils or even watercolors if you wanted to. But uh, they're just kind of there as, as um, I, I think, a black and white piece, but you could totally color them. And I didn't think about that until after the fact. I mean, I, when you start looking at it from... Uh, the other side of having finished everything, you kind of say, wow, you could totally, totally uh, color those those black and white photos. They're just, I mean, not photos, but die cuts. They're kind of screaming, color me, just like a coloring book. So I am getting myself organized. And I think everything is very cute. And you, what you notice is that you know, it's not all the same pages. Everything is different. Everything has a slightly different feel to it. And so how do you take something where they look so different and yet you make it so it kind of coordinates throughout the book? I mean, that's pretty cool. And one thing they're using, which I saw in retrospect, is a lot of black and white. And so you've got black and white elements going throughout the album. Um, along with the color, the colors coordinate very well together. Um, but the black and white, I think, is the uh, parts that are just really um, bringing the whole album together. And one element that they have in here are black hearts. And it's like, see, there's one of them. You think, okay, a black heart but, you know, when you realize how much they pop from the background, <clears throat> pardon me, no coronavirus, um, it ends up being a really neat thing to uh, add to your whole 
layout. So I've got uh, quite a bit going on here. I might be playing some music in between all of this to just kind of give you a little break from here. <laughs> are all the mats that come with this kit. They're all marked on the back side, so you know exactly where each one goes to. And uh, I'm starting to put together the pages now. And this happens to be the beginning page. So it's the title page, and that's why it says, This Is Us. So you might want to think, okay, you know, do I really want something like this? And you know, this is a terrific project for young people, like a young family or teenagers or even, you know, preteens, um, you know, doing one from their point of view for the family, of their family. So, you know, it's a great, versatile album, that a mini album that... Um, you know, would be easy for a young person to put together and, uh, you know, still make them feel like they're being creative and, you know, doing something that's really, I think, very useful. So I think it would be really cute for a very young family that's just starting off. And so they can, um, you know, start their collecting of photos because I, I know a a lot of us uh, people who've been around the block a few times, you know, we have a tendency to have boxes of photos, and that is not good for anybody. So this is kind of starts up a means of organization and even a means of, gee, what kind of picture do I want to take of, uh, you know, somebody other than myself for young people? But for others, people that, you know, I care about in my circle of friends or my family. So I just, I really uh, like this little album. Now, these little frames are perfect for three-by-three three size photos. 
And I, I mean, you can see how easy and quick this is. I mean, granted, I'm doing it at 300%, but there's nothing really complicated here. Once you get everything sorted out, uh, there's really nothing terrifically complicated. Now, I will tell you, the frames, I'm just putting adhesive on the bottom, the thicker part of the frame, and the top part is just kind of being free, so I can easily put a picture behind it or fit it inside. So the three by threes fit exactly inside, but if you had something that was a tad bigger, then you'd have the frame to cover it and you could, you know, adhere it onto the edge of the picture. So the ending page, which is what I'm working on right now, has this little circle that says, love these people. So, You've put together a whole bunch of pictures that you really, a whole bunch of pictures of people that you really care about. And so it's this is us and love these people. I mean, that's really nice for all of us, actually. So, title and ending page are finished. So I think that these are simple enough and, and, uh, straightforward enough that I don't need to describe everything that I'm doing. Um, so I'll play some music. But note when, when I go through here and there are some little black and white flowers that you can see on that little strip above the uh, page that I'm working on, they could totally be colored if you wanted to. But if you wanted to leave them black and white, it goes totally with the whole kind of theme that's getting carried out throughout this uh, whole album. So let me play some music. So I'll see you on the other side.
I just give you a break from my voice. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this get put together. It's it's kind of fun for me to to watch it and I love the colors that are used in this whole album. I love the background color of these particular pages and uh, how perfectly the blues and the kind of mustard color, saffron color looks with those with that background color. So you can see how the little black accents get carried from one page to the next. And, you know, although I've done some measuring, uh, you can pretty much eyeball this. You don't absolutely have to measure it. Uh, you can totally eyeball it if you're comfortable with that. And uh, look how cute that is. That's adorable. Those are two by two photos. So you can cut out the interesting part of a photo and put some faces there. Now, I love also the other thing that gets carried from one page to another, or kind of throughout, spotty throughout the whole um, album, or is a whitewash, uh, not a whitewash, but a watercolor swishing, and which I totally love. I totally love that. Um, so, you know, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the, the art that is it took to put these pages together and to make everything look so coordinated uh, so that when we put it together, you know, it's something that we're proud of doing. You know, for those of us who are not artistic, uh, and maybe sometimes I'm not even great with color, um, this helps me. This is why when people say, well, I can't do scrapbooking because I'm not artistic. Well, I'm doing close to my heart scrapbooking because I'm not art not artistic, because I've got go-bys, I've got instructions, I've got pictures, things to follow, and uh, it just makes me feel good about what whether it's cards or a scrapbook page, or uh, you know a small album like this. You know it makes me feel good. I really enjoy putting these together. It's, and you know, it's not like I do it perfect. I mean, you saw me make, you know, a couple of mistakes and you can undo them. Not a, not a problem. So, um, I just feel like anybody can do these with just a little bit of oomph behind them. And, you know, the nice thing is you feel so good when you're finished because you're proud of what you've done. So this is a really cute page, and that blue is going to look beautiful with any of your people pictures. And we there's also um, journaling spots. So there's always a place to put a little, little journaling. So you don't ever want to leave your journaling out. So you can describe just exactly what's going on, and you so you don't lose the feeling of what was going on when you were taking those pictures. So, and there's our little black hearts. Look at how cute that is. And look at how it sticks out. It just, it, that totally pops, as they say. Now, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, that is so beautiful. And so you see how, you know, there's the black, black and white grid. And, you know, you see that black and white. Like I said, it gets carried from one page to the next. So um, would I know that, you know, if I was trying to design something? No, I probably wouldn't think about it, honestly. Uh, but I sure can appreciate it when people put the thought into it. Um, and give it the flair that I wouldn't give just because I don't think that way. You know, I've got other things that I think about that I'm, you know, other people can't do. And, you know, this is something that I really appreciate that the artist did this for me so I can feel good about it. 
someplace along here, the um, my uh, GoPro overheated. So um, I'm making a little envelope here. And I've slowed the video down. This is my normal pace. <laughs> so I look slow as molasses when you take me off at 300 <laughs> times the speed. Uh, anyway, I someplace in here, my GoPro overheated, and I lost, um, I think, practically a whole page uh, or layout um, of putting it together. So... Um, just to remind you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and, you know, ring the bell and, um, you know, if you feel like giving me a like on my videos, I'd appreciate it. I'd love for you to leave a comment. And, uh, every video of mine has a full, um, information below my comments, um, of where to, uh, purchase uh, these particular pages or cards or a small album like this one uh, and any other kind of information. So I hope that you enjoyed watching watching my video and um, I love this little pocket because there's a, the little blue card there over on the right hand side is the little journaling card. And that is, you'll do your journaling, and then you'll slip, pardon me, you'll slip that card into that little pocket. And if you notice, I'm not putting any adhesive on any of the pictures. So here's what all the pages look like together. So there's the little card in the pocket. And I think that one came out looking real cute with the little blue accent flowers on it. And the one on the lower right-hand side, you didn't see me do that one at all. It got completely lost in, in I don't know why, in the videoing. But um, this is another watercolor swoosh across the page. And so cute, right? So cute. I love this. I love this album. I hope you enjoyed watching watching me do this. And um, once again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye now. Oh, this is the beginning and last page. You got to admit, this is a great album. Look at that. And look at how pretty and colorful it is. Bye now.